Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I said I was going to show you a fossil deck and uh, I keep my promise. Although fossil decks kind of suck. So first of all, you can't lead with a mysterious fossil. You've got to use other Pokemon. So to fit in with it, I got Lapras because, you know, kind of fossil-y type Pokemon and Hitmonchan. Not so much, it's just the best fighter basic Pokemon in general. So I'm probably going to just end up relying on those two in general. <laughs> But yeah, take a look at this. Yeah, look. only eight basic Pokémon, and then all these evolutions. But I'm hoping with the Professor Oaks challenges, fossil excavation, all that stuff, trader breeder. I, I'm, I'm actually a bit mysterious fossil in general, but I'll be able, I'll be able to get something going. <laughs> it's not a good deck, believe me. But I'm gonna run them down the fossils now. I only got one of these because I'm generally going to want to keep it on the bench for this effect here of increasing attack power. But uh, also, rolling tackle isn't that good. It's... yeah, 2 for 20. So, yeah. Uh, so I'm primarily going to go for this Ammonite with Fossil Guidance. You can pull out mysterious fossils from your discard piles, recycle them for your hand. Maybe. <laughs> but the issue with that is fossils, you know, they're on the field first before they're discarded. So one of these is used to make this Ammonite. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyway, uh, and then there's Surf for 30, which is fairly respectable, but another thing about these fossil Pokemon is they have generally have very low HP, and they have bad detriments. So yeah, uh, and I also got this Amastar for the sake of showing you something new. You could draw a bunch of cards with it, potentially. Probably not with my coin flips. And you can potentially use this one turn after turn, which but not if you get Tails, that's another detriment to a fossil Pokémon. But you may cause paralysis, which is kind of nice, but look at the specific energy types of this. Three very specific water energies. So even if I use, say, uh, double colorless energy for that, when I evolve it into that, it's going to be completely useless. So I, in turn, didn't put any double colorless energy. The same for the uh, fighting line of things, because Kabutops, your only choice. 2 for 30, fairly okay. Absorb would be pretty nice if you got more HP. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Fossilization might be handy for recycling stuff. You know, to kind of save them because of their low HP, so... Got a couple of those. Only two because I wanted to fit in Aerodactyl, because I think that's going to be a little bit better overall than anything. <laughs> Uh, the Sharp Claws could potentially do some decent damage, 2 for 40, if I get a head flip. That's what, that's another detriment to Fossil Pokémon. You gotta rely on those coin flips. Uh, you know, Hitmonchan, as I mentioned. Um, Aerodactyl, I chose this version because I don't want to use the other one and restrict my own evolutions. And this is to show you something new, I could cause confusion. And all colorless, very nice! <laughs> <laughs> but it does 10 damage to itself with 70 HP, so there's another fossil detriment. Now, because of all these specific energy types, aside from Aerodactyl and that Ammonite, I guess, got Energy Search in place of Energy Removal. Yeah, I know, I know, because we're, we're really lacking in room here. As a matter of fact, they even cut back on one Professor Oak in favor of Excavation, and because, you know, you gotta add the Mysterious Fossil as well. A uh, traitor breeder, depending on the situation. <laughs> so you took your discard pile for a card named Mysterious Fossil. Show it to your opponent and put it in your hand. Uh, if you took the card from your deck, shuffle your deck afterward. Yep. So I'm mainly gonna be using this to recycle these because you're all, you're, you're forced to use four max. That's another issue with the fossil deck. But anyway, let's just stop talking about the issues and go into it and hope we're gonna actually win. <laughs> oh jeez. It's gonna be bad. This is not a competitive, viable deck at all. The only fossil that you'd really want to use is the Aerodactyl with the prehistoric power to prevent evolution. But... But... <laughs> Even that is, uh... Yeah, if you're using evolutions yourself, you gotta kind of base a deck basically around it. Anyway... So, we have... A Charmander out first, which is kind of nice. And Growl is uh, potentially a de detriment to my Lapras a little bit, perhaps, maybe. And we're going to challenge. 
We're going to hope that we get as many draw cards as we possibly can here. Now, I don't have a fossil, and I got all these fossil Pokémon, which means that it's that everything's basically moot here, and because of all the space usage, I wasn't able to put that many draw cards, and as a result of that, I couldn't really get, get the other stuff going in general, yeah. So if you're making a fossil deck, you probably want well, to thank you. You probably want to only focus on the singular fossil line that, that benefits your deck the most, your deck strategy the most, I should say. Like, instead of going both Ammonites and Kabuto lines, you just pick one or the other. Or you just pick the Pyrrhistor Power Aerodactyl. Or maybe you just pick this Aerodactyl and the Ammonite Amistar line dealio, but that that's not their idea, you know, Game Freak's idea. Uh, it doesn't work very well, but that's not their idea. <laughs> it's probably one of the worst archetypes as a result, but at least we got a fire person out first here, and maybe, possibly, we can sweep them. But this certainly doesn't feel like a very fossil-y deck right now, with the way that I'm, I'm not really using a fossil Pokémon. And also keep in mind, you cannot use... I should say, you cannot evolve into a fossil Pokémon the moment you place Mysterious Fossil in play. So bench attacks that hit Mysterious Fossil are gonna wipe out your fossils before they even get a chance to evolve into other critters. In any case, I'm gonna go Aerodactyl, and hopefully we'll be able to power up that Stinker before our Lapras gets knocked out. <laughs> because it's probably my best bet, because, you know, the I, I kind of have the very specific energy types of the Ammonites, so... Yeah, I figured I'd be better off doing it that way, because... Yeah, actually, I don't even have an Ammonite, I'd have to trade for one, so maybe I would go for the colorless one. Possibly, I do. I guess I do have enough water for it, but... Even so, I'm just gonna... <laughs> try not to waste energy in general, too, you know? So, I figured that Aerodactyl would be kind of the, the most benefit, too because it would give me the highest chance because it has the highest HP, despite that swoop dive causing 10 to itself, which is another issue, and yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I might want to switch because the sand attack is in play, because uh, I'll be just be able to finish off the Eevee outright. And there we go, I'll do 10 damage to myself, but I'll get a prize card, and I'll also be able to do 40 turn after turn, but that Magmar could be an issue. You know how those Magmars of this variety of 31 cause ire? Yes. That's probably going to cause great ire to my deck. She's probably going to try and switch that Magmar if she can. Uh, fire energy. Yep, there's a switch. So I'm just going to keep end up doing damage to myself. Uh, I can't breed anything because I don't have another fossil, so I'll soup dive. Oh, I should have actually put another energy on Lapras, but I think I, I think I got this game won. Uh, fire switch. Oh no, so it's switch just going for the smoke screen in hopes that it'll work. Which is probably your best bet, because I think I ran her down on HP critter. Oh, there's Electabuzz. Oh no, 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 that's double damage, that's right. So that's out. And just get things set up in case Tails happens. Yeah, of course it's going to happen. And at least I don't take 10 damage to myself, so that's kind of nice. Flareon. Smoke screen and probably can't switch to that Flareon either because Flareon is 50 HP and it's gonna be kind of difficult. Anyway, <sighs> astonishing. Uh, she is switching. So the rage is 10 damage, I guess, but that's I'm gonna end up knocking myself out when I use the soup dive next. But then I'll be able to kind of finish off with something. Wait, actually, hold on a sec. Idea, idea. Retreat, Lapras, attack, what a gun! Double damage! <laughs> oh, he's got a play to the weaknesses, as that's the advantage, I guess you could say, of the fossil critters, because there's so many different types, resistances, and stuff like that, so to speak. Jacob, let's go. I, I, I assume you can actually get them out, hence so I got trader and breeder, depending on the situation. Uh, I don't have any fossils, so this is really not looking much like a fossil deck now, is it? Uh, yep, yeah, poor. 
Well, what can I do? You can't even really search for the mysterious fossil aside from computer search. Which you have to discard two cards to get. So, yeah! Not sure I recommend that in this deck. <laughs> Please don't get a basic Pokemon. Oh, jeez, you got Bill. You're probably going to get a basic Pokemon. <laughs> and, oh, energy removal. That's going to set me back. Although, you didn't get a basic Pokemon, so... Maybe I can do two water energy for the win? Then on there, water gun, because I can do a water gun here for 10 and then 20 on the next turn. Maybe, 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 perhaps, please, let me. Yes! Yes! Oh wait, sand attack is a factor, dang it! So I have to flip heads for that. Mmm, <laughs> that's never gonna happen, is it? <laughs> I can't even trade for a fossil, but anyway. Because fossils don't count as a Pokemon. <laughs> Alright, I win! That was sheer luck. <laughs> Well, at least that's something, I guess. That's... Yeah. Alright, James is up next. GR number one. And this is a problem, because my uh, Kabuto line is weak to grass. <laughs> so... <laughs> uh, actually, come to think of it, isn't... Aren't you weak to... Oh, you're weak to grass, too, so both... Oh, man. I guess I'm relying on these again! Um, eh, I can't even play the Amastar. I'll just go Lapras, Lapras. And end the turn. <laughs> if I can get uh, some water energy too, that would be pretty nice. <laughs> Everything uses such specific energy types. I thought about using colorless energy in place of these two, but. I mean, excuse me, Teller's Pokemon in place of Lapras and Hitmonchan, but... You know, you don't really expect that to be that much of an issue. Oh yeah, that's right, though. Eh, because Frighten's in play. I can't even do that because of Frighten. So I might as... <laughs> oh, that's right, yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez, I'm stuck. I just have to do Nightmare on me. And before I can actually do something. Ah, uh, that actually might be an issue. Because the, uh, it's going to start doing 20, and if I start doing damage, it will probably get some prize cards and... Okay. That in play. Energy search for water. Thank you, thank you. Put that on there. Uh... What's Aerodactyl's weak... Ah, grass as well. <laughs> and he's not using that many grass, though, so... Uh... Maybe I'd be okay with putting Aerodactyl in play then? I, don't, I just don't know. I should, uh... I should at least... I should probably just hold off using Professor Roke right now, though. And uh, just call it a turn with the water gun. <laughs> but by the time I get something going here, he's probably gonna have far, far more going than I will, so... <laughs> uh, challenge. Let's see what we get out of that. Challenge and Mysterious Fossil, okay... I can deal with... I mean, I can use the Mysterious Fossil. Kabuto, I don't know if I want to use that. I mean, even with Fossilization... Maybe I do? I don't know! I'll definitely put that in play, though. Uh... Well, I don't have to make a move right now. I'll just Water Gun. And end the turn. Hopefully! Hopefully he'll have something decent when the time comes. <laughs> we actually need to do something decent. Uh, let's see. I guess I should put it on Lapras. I know, I know, I need to power up Aerodactyl, but... I really gotta get damage done to that Haunter. Because maybe I could do something with uh, Kabuto too. There isn't anything in the... Uh, discard pile, but I would like... Because I, I don't think there isn't a discard pile, right? But, yeah, I think I'd like to go just grab one out of the deck. Normally I wouldn't do it this way, excuse me, because I want, I want to use the Mysterious Fossils as many times as I can. But... Situations call for certain situations. And I kind of like, kind of would like to have some something else, you know? Alright. Mm, that's definitely going in play. 
And water gun. Not trusting the coin flip. I'm just gonna let Lapras go. And uh, then take a prize card with something else. Hopefully. I think a Haunter is resistant to fighting though, so I'm gonna have to go plop out something else. Like say... Well, actually, I could put out the fossil. Hmm. Hmm. Just, you know, focus on powering up something else. Maybe in the meantime? Perhaps? Like, say, the other laps. <laughs> Still not looking like a fossil as a result of having to do that, but... Yeah, you, you go ahead and knock out the... The fossil here, if you'd like. I'll, I'll water gun you on the next turn. There you go. Good, good boy. <laughs> no prize card for you, though. So, Lapras again. Oh, uh, not different Lapras, I should say. And a water gun. So that'll also stop any grudging. Because, uh, no, no prize card taking disadvantage here. Bulbasaur could be a little bit of an issue. Depends on how things go. I would really like to knock out <laughs> the grass Pokemon for obvious reasons of uh, weaknesses. And there's poison though. Uh, let's try and accelerate this here. Try and wipe out that Bulbasaur if we can help it. And he might actually do a switch because if I, I've got all those fossils and you might want to utilize the grass on... Uh, yeah, that's kind of what I figured too, but yeah, <laughs> I got that's how I got the water gun set up in general. Ooh, Pokemon Breeder, which I cannot use anything with. <laughs> um, hold on a sec here. Should I? Hmm. I might just have to go with the... Because I got all fighting Pokemon here. Uh, will, I have, will I really have to go for another Lapras? <laughs> that just seems like where it's going. There we go. And Water Gun, I guess. Because <laughs> he's got all those fighting resistant critters. Including Zubat, actually. But... Hmm. We got another Haunter Great. It's fantastic. Especially now that I took two prize cards. And the Ram is gonna put Lapras into critical levels. Because it's two turns, maybe two between turns there. Uh, uh, I guess I should try the Aerodactyl. And. Uh, uh, water Gun. Because <laughs> it, you know, it's 10 damage to something, even if I can't get. Uh, you know, because of the resistances, so with Aerodactyl I could at least do 10 damage to the Zubat. Or continually do 10 damage, and 10 damage to myself as well. Because <laughs> that's the detriment of fossils. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Soup time! Grab a prize guard, but he's gonna put something that's resistant out to my Aerodactyl. Probably the Haunter. Zubat? Okay. That's better than I was hoping, I suppose, but... <laughs> uh, is there any way that I could set it up so that I can dish out a, a KO blow to that Zubat with something on the side? Uh, like, maybe do 10 damage with the Aerodactyl this turn to power up Lapras's Water Gun on the side? Assuming I can get two more Water Energy? This is just a very big stretch here. In his energy search. Pull that out. Challenge. Maybe we can get another one. I don't know how many I have left in my deck. Energy search. I should actually probably look through my deck. Alright. Soup dive, and then we retreat into the Lapras on the next turn. Or get knocked out and <laughs> uh, win the game, I suppose. In theory. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he doesn't have any... Didn't have any rebuttal there, I guess. Lapras, Water Energy, there we go. And Water Gun. So yeah, this deck, not very competition viable, as you see. Uh, so... So... What can you do when you're just trying to show things off, after all? Uh, Seth is up next, though. We're, we're going through opponents decently quick, I guess. Now that we got Colorless Man here... We might be able to take advantage of our fighting critters 
assuming we get Hitmonchan the opening hand and be able to go up into the fossil ranks of the fighting line of stuff, so... Oh boy! It's, it's like everything's gotta work in our favor. Uh, and Lapras, that is not working in our favor. <laughs> oh jeez, well, at least we got first. I think we went first. I'll hit Monchan, okay. Uh, so we're gonna start off with the Lapras though anyway, because it's a two retreat cost. Two retreat for both Lapras and Hitmonchan in general, so... Just don't wanna waste that, as long as I have to put out Lapras first, and then focus on wiping out the colorless Pokémon in the future with Hitmonchan. In theory! Oh, there's another one. Let's put another one on Lapras, and we're gonna go for the Confuse Ray this time. Which failed me, because I can never get heads when I need it. <laughs> I'll just keep trying to throw the Confuse Ray until I get it to really mess with his HP reserves there. And then I'll start using the Water Gun. So, uh, now I can't, but I was gonna say, so this turn I'm just gonna attach it to Hitmonchan and use Confuse Ray, but nah, he's just gonna get heads all day and all night, probably. And I'm only going to focus on powering up one of the Hitmonchans, because of the uh, the double damage of Special Punch, if I can help it. So uh, I don't have no fossils, by the way, in my hand to be able to play Omanyte Omnistar, so what can you do? <laughs> Can't even attack again, because he's going to get heads the whole way, probably five more in a row. Just to knock out my poor Lapras. There's number f <laughs> number one of five. <laughs> Astonishing! Pokemon Breeder would be nice if I could put that fossil in play, but no, that, that ain't happen. That ain't happening. So you know what? We're gonna Professor Oak. <laughs> just, just because we probably need more resources. Mysterious fossil. Thank you. We could finally get something going with that, except we can't because we get we can't trade into something. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I can't do anything right now anyway, so I could Professor Oak again, but I got energy search and stuff like that, and I might wanna uh, get a bunch of fighting energy for Kabuto Kabutops if possible. So we're gonna see if I can pull that off. We got there's another head right there, fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna trade Amonite into Kabuto. Only have one of those, so don't overthink it. <laughs> Put that on there. Energy search. Fighting. Unfortunately, though, I already attached. Lapras is paralyzed. <laughs> so we're stuck as usual. And of course he gets heads. He's gonna get all the heads. All the heads in the world. Energy removal on Lapras too. Fantastic. And heads again? Sure, why not? Why wouldn't ya? <laughs> There's gotta be something in the game that's like, I, I don't know, I just swear. There's gotta be something in the game that's... Like, maybe if you win so and so many games, they make it harder on you by making your coin flips harder or something. I don't know, it just really, really seems like that I... Everything coin flip wise is not going my favor. Okay. <laughs> oh jeez. All right. So, um, I guess should energy search water. Put that on there. Retreat into Hitmonchan so we can get the double damage off. Professor Oak Cat. <laughs> oh jeez. I just, I don't know, it just happens so often. It's, it's, it's almost like making me superstitious, and I'm not super, a superstitious person. <laughs> I use all sorts of superstitious expressions, but I don't really believe in them, per se. <laughs> I just kind of joke about them, but come on! <laughs> um, energy removal is sort of a detriment, in a way. I mean, the super energy removal is. Why I say sort of is because I could still power up Hitmonchan fairly easily in two turns, and it's still gonna take two turns to knock out that uh, Chansey anyway. Especially with Scrunch now, it's actually gonna take longer than that, but... Um... You know, I should probably actually use those challenges. And no more fossils here. I could Pokemon Breeder into Kabutops. 
Or... Oh, wait, no, no, wait. Actually, wait, wait, what am I doing? I could, uh... Wait, no, no! <laughs> I was looking at that again. I could go into Kabutops like that, and then... Grab a Fighting Energy. Because we don't, we don't know what we're gonna need to use it for. Might use it for the Itmonchan, might use it for... Oh, is you, are you gonna double edge? Wow, really? Oh man, you really want that Hitmonchan gone! <laughs> and Kabutops. So yeah, it looks like you're going for the fighting then. And... Sharpsicle, double damage. Alright, so Kabutops in this sort of situation is sort of decent. Got another one now, so maybe I'll breed into the other one using the other mysterious fossil. Um, but Snorlax, I can't two-hit KO. I mean, I can't one-hit KO with this, though. But okay, here, Pokemon Breeder. Here you go, good boy, and we're gonna go... I guess Absorb. Mm, might as well, it's basically the same either way. <laughs> but that'll do the maximum amount of damage, super energy removal on my Kabutops, which does not help too much, because I have the double damage dealio going on there. Uh, let's... I don't know. I think I might have to build up something else that's not a fossil again. Sharp Sickle for now, though. And call it a turn, because I'm doing wiggly tough damage now to his colorless critters, so... Oh, jeez, lick a tongue. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> and... Oh, jeez, really? Interesting. Interesting. It heard my pleas. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna challenge that. Uh, mysterious Fossil... See if I can get Absorb in there. Because I'll be able to recover the damage taken by the Tongue Wraps, potentially? Maybe? Possibly? Oh, wow. I am very pleased with this. I, I can't believe this, actually. Fighting? No. Um, I guess I'm not doing it right now, so I'll just get the Lapras going and Sharp Sickle. <clears throat> yeah, because Bootops is low HP. It's another very de bad detriment to the fossil Pokemon. Stage 2 is 60 HP. Just think about that. It takes two card, I uh, should say, two other cards to get this one out for a 60 HP critter that does 30 and 40 damage for specific fighting energy. <laughs> It's, it's... it's iffy. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go and absorb now. I guess the idea is for the absorption, because you can heal damage. But Venusaur has got that <laughs> same energy costs. Same specific energy with 100 HP. <laughs> Just let that sink in there. And it's also got the ability to heal your... Uh, uh, heal... oh, that's right. Uh, heal your... Uh, status conditions as well, <laughs> so... <laughs> anyway, lick a tongue for the finale. Probably gonna be nine head flips in a row. Did not get the Bill's teleporter off, though. That works in my favor. And paralysis hits, though. You know, this deck is actually working better than I thought it would in general, but... For all I know, I'm gonna end up running out of cards now, so... I shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't count chickens. <laughs> now I got seven cards left. You'd think, you would think I would be able to win in this sort of situation. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and by the way, I'm definitely not going to use any Professor Oaks if I uh, get another one. Just saying. Um. What if I, oh, I actually should. Because this has got the prehistoric dream to. Aha! So I could use that to power up Kabutops. Let's go, baby. Are you ready? Yes! Let's just see what we get here. So that'll power it up for the future. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, done. Wait, wait, is it for the just for the turn, or is it for the whole shebang? Like, permanently? I don't remember, actually. I mean, it, it did say once during your turn before you attack, but... It doesn't... <laughs> Fantastic. But, um... 
thing about it, though, now that I think about it, is fossil excavation. Uh, I wonder if I should... Wait, I don't have a... Oh, that's right, I put Ominite in play. But the thing about it, though, is... The wording of it. Uh, this should damage in the attack. See, it doesn't... Yeah, it doesn't say anything about it reverting. So, Kabutop should be able to knock out that... Lickitung, then, right? I would think... Uh, in any case, I'm gonna end my turn here. <laughs> so, hopefully, again, hopefully, I'm gonna be able to oh, shoot. I'll be able to uh, wipe out that Lickitung soon enough. <laughs> Finally! Okay. Fighting energy would be nice now. Challenge, not using that. Oh, uh, probably shouldn't even use the energy search. Okay, um, just to be sure. Leeless Pokemon put up Yes. <laughs> no. Uh, okay, so. So does that mean this'll do 70? Then, or will it do the regular 60? 60. So I guess it is just per turn. Alright, so he's gonna have to switch now. Uh, unless he's just gonna go for the uh, Lickitung. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that actually was kind of useless. If you think about it, because that... Yeah, why would you remove the energy off a of Kabutop so you're gonna knock it out anyway? Anyway, I just need one one more prize card here. Took took a whole bunch of turns because of the head flips, but... We made it! We made it! <laughs> Alright, so just one more to go. We're just I, I just feel like we're always hanging on a thread with this deck, just on the brink of disaster. Please don't be a Grass-type deck. <laughs> Which is the Beat and Destroy deck, I think? Which is the Grass-type deck? Uh, in any case, I've gotta go Lapras, so... That's decent if he's using Grass. And he's using... Which deck is this? I forgot. Uh, I'll, have to, I'll have to take a look at his bench Pokémon. Because he uses... Oh, it's, it is the grass. Oh, no. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Because he uses this to pull out his uh, Dark Dragonair for stuff. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. So I guess I'm going to be pretty reliant on Hitmonchan and, uh... Assuming I can even get that. And Lapras, because all my fossils are weak to grass. Uh, <laughs> And yeah, we're gonna just start with a little water gun then. <laughs> I don't even have the basics! The critters generally! <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I guess I could try and use them to power up for something. Like, maybe I can get some attacks on the Dratini Dragonairs, but th that, those, those grass critters are gonna be, gonna be an issue. I'm telling ya! <laughs> and that on there. Hopefully you can get a Confuse Ray off that. Um... It probably now should. I'm gonna put that back in the deck, because it's the easiest to power up out of all of them. For the inevitable discard that I'm gonna have to do here. Hitmonchan in play, and Confuse Ray. Because I can Water Gun the Dratini off the field on the next turn. Uh, I just thought I would see if I can prevent any sort of attacks, or maybe do some self-damage. But he just had to use the grass deck, huh? <laughs> Oops, no. Um... Why haven't I put that in play? I don't know. Um... Mm. Yeah, water gun. Just kind of stuck here at the moment. And hopefully we'll be able to put the pressure on him. And not cause too much ire to ourselves, disorderly mess. 10 there, 20 there, okay. So he senses the Hitmonchan could very well be an issue. I would uh, assume the same out of that. And, oh shoot, did I just, did I put that on the fossil? Ah! I'll have to put it on Hitmonchan. Well, I'll put that in play. Maybe I'll go for the fossil instead anyway. Um, yeah, Confuse Ray. Of course not. I just want the confusion! Well, he might evolve into Dark Venusaur anyway, so... 
30, all, all straight, all over to the uh, Lapras, I see. Uh, well... Looks like I can safely put that on Hitmonchan, because it's one colorless dealio. Uh, let's go for... a Aerodactyl. It's probably my most decent basic Pokémon. <laughs> Put that in play, <laughs> as long as I got an energy on it. Uh, yeah, I'll just water gun twice, assuming he'll let me. I'll probably just use Disorderly Mess. And wipe out Lapras and do a little bit more damage to uh, the Hitmonchan. Oh, straight to the fossil, interesting. Why did you do all 30 to that fossil then, though? That, this has got to be AI hiccups all over again. <laughs> Alright, I'll take it. Maybe the AI is, just, like, programmed to always go for a knockout, regardless if it's actually a beneficial knockout or not. Or maybe he recognizes that my fossils are the most important thing that I have right now. I don't know. <laughs> uh, anyway, we are in decent shape now, then, because we got rid of the grass critters, so Aerodactyl is coming up next. Put that in play. I'm not going to burn my fighting energy. I'm just gonna go for the swoop dive. I'll do 10 to myself, but I really, really want to utilize my energy to its maximum, because you've seen all those very specific energy types. Oh yeah, you've got... I took out the other Dratini, so it's Kangaskhan. That's the other one on the side that's right. Uh, neutral damage will slow me down a little bit, because I can't utilize my double damage on the Kangaskhan then, but not not that much. I might actually be able to go, with the, go to the Ammonite, uh, that increases damage, assuming I get that coin flip, but... Uh, in any case, I'm gonna put that in play. Lapras... Uh, I'll wait to see what kind of energy I need off that. Should I try and confuse it? That might be more useful, actually. <laughs> da! <Duh! laughs> of course, the coin flips! The coin flips are always a factor with me. Just, it's like if there's any sort of coin flip, just always expect it to be Tails when I'm playing here. So yeah, I guess I would have just been better off swoop diving, but yeah, now he's got another grass Pokemon in general, but I wouldn't have been able to stop that anyway. Um, yeah, we're gonna... actually, wait a second. Energy search... water for the Lapras. Put that in play, and it's just swoop dive, just swoop it! <laughs> uh, I thought about putting potions in here because of those, because of the swoop dives. I figured I'd be using Aerodact a lot like that, but as you've seen, deck space is already pretty tight in general, because another detriment to the fossil deck dealio, so... Um, actually... Hmm... Might just have to, Professor Oak. Maybe I should put this on there, just in case, anyway. Uh, like, energy removal and stuff like that. Just for kicks. And see what else we get here. Mysterious Fossil and Pokémon Breeders, nice. But I might just end up aerotactling it again. Because air Kabutops will take forever to power up, aside from that sharp sickle. So, anyway. I would have knocked out that Kangaskhan by now, obviously, but... <laughs> Uh, oh no! The yeah, oh geez, that this could be his sweeping potential. Oh, and I don't have my energy removal. <laughs> uh, I'm definitely going Lapras next then, if I can help it. <laughs> um, yeah, Lapras. Oh jeez, that's a big problem. Actually, wait a second. Maybe I should go at Hitmonchan after Aerodactyl is inevitably knocked out, because Hitmonchan is... It's already weakened, yeah. Anyway, Swoop Dive. I'll do 10 to myself, but he's gonna get the knockout on Aerodactyl regardless, so at this point it's kinda moot. It would only matter if uh, Aerodactyl's at full health, but then what's the point of having it anyway, because you're... <laughs> you would not be attacking with it at all, and then just be taking free shots from the opponent's Pokémon that do 30 damage, double damage. Hit Monchan. And... We do that. 
And as promised, we're gonna go for the other Aerodactyl if I can. And special punch. Because maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to get another special punch in on that Dark Venusaur. And then uh, wipe him out. Maybe. It all depends, because it can cause confusion, paralysis, asleepness. Yeah, I prefer sleep more than anything. Poison, and okay, so I got to sleep. So it's always poison and some other status effect. No, please give me heads. Yes! For once, you worked out! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna put that in play. I don't know if I wanna put the other one in play though, because I'm gonna be focusing more on the Aerodactyl, I guess. Special Punch, Dark Venusaur, Hitmonchan's gonna be KO'd because of that, uh, and a poison, but anyway, we're in decent shape now. Um, I probably should go Lapras, because it's the most resilient, I would say, and I, and I can actually attack with it for sure. Uh, fossil Excavation... I really need a Water Energy to finish it off on the next turn, though. Although, I could switch, and, you know, switch into the Aerodactyl. Oh, then maybe I should have went for the Confusion instead. I think that would have been the better move. It would also taken away its Pokémon power of neutral damage as well. Although, come to think of it, neutral damage is, uh... That's kind of a detriment to him as well, now that I think about it. Because I, I wasn't paying attention before. But that, uh, Horrid Pollen must have done only 30 to... The... Aerodactyl, right? Because neutral damage, don't apply weakness and resistance for any attack. Yeah, so it would actually that actually mess with him too. Anyway, we're gonna retreat, attack with soup dive, and I can't believe we made it through that. <laughs> oh jeez. Yeah, this is not a good deck. But I I managed I managed it. <laughs> Victory! And the streak goes up to 8. Two more to go to get another coin. With that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I'm done hiding in this corner. Because that was just not a good deck.